What's up, everyone? This is your stream, Mr. Steven, and welcome to the Steven Factor. Breaking news. President Trump is impeached again. And yes, folks, it is a, a most shocking historical impeachment and the first and only president twice in history like any other. Now, as you all may know, we heard what happened since like in the year 2019 when President Trump decided to call the Ukrainian president to ask him a favor about the president uh, for the vice president, Joe Biden, about his investigation. And now, this year in 2021, this is getting much even worse. Now, President Trump has been accused of the Capitol riot of insurrection. Now, this is even worse than Donald Trump. There's no social medias for him. They already did terminate about the social medias, right? And now, he doesn't have no choice. He needs to tweet something about his freedom of speech. But it's over already. He decided trying to make a video, said that stop the violence, let's all be calm, etc., etc. But he shouldn't have said it since one week ago. And today is a one week later of the Capitol riot, the Capitol Hill under siege. Folks, I try to keep telling you this. Like in 2016, or should I say in 2015, in the beginning, I knew what Donald Trump says it was completely inappropriate about the racism issues he'd been criticizing of the immigrants. Um, he's trying to who's gonna pay, he's trying to criticize Mexico, going to pay the wall trying to investigate of Joseph Biden's son. And everything's went too old already. There's no ideas whatsoever. I mean, during a, a debate when when Joseph Biden wants to investigate you, I mean, investigate him and his son about wrongdoings in China, it's just like a 2016 all over again. Did it work? No. They tried the evidence. Didn't work? No. The voting frauds. Did it work? No. President Trump still investigating about over 11,870 votes. But everything is sealed. All the, the 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 Biden supporters are for for him instead of Trump, and it's over. <laughs> Rudolph Giuliani did a very good job as well, and even the words also gave him much worse. And that word is called comeback. And this is why people really don't understand about the misinformation, a mis -confuse, confusing, and even also um, behaviors, lies, and dismeanors. And um, and over the weekend, um, when I was at the clinic, I decided try to. Posted on Instagram and Twitter and Facebook. And also I posted one of my um, friends at the Apostles for three outstanding advice. Think about, think before you write. Think before you post. And think 
before you speak. As you all may know, President Trump doesn't read his stamp teleprompter. That's number one. He's trying to save his own things on his head. And number two, you had to think before you speak because when you misspoken and misunderstanding, everything's like a, a free for a free for all. When he just said that we're going to the Capitol and I'm coming with you. And guess what? President Trump wasn't there. He was at the White House at all the time. And some Trump supporters think that he's coming with him. But he's not there. He is not there whatsoever. He's sitting down in silence. But when I saw this documentary of the CNN special report, The Trump Insurrection, I almost cried my tears out. I got a little bit of sentimental in my eye. And I heard those Trump supporters says, and I quote, hang on Pence? That would really, really bothers me. How the hell are you going to hang Vice President Mike Pence? You know why? Because Mike Pence understand the law. He understand the Constitution. President Trump don't understand the law. And he don't understand the Constitution. And I wish Mike Pence should be. I, w I just wish Mike Pence will be our president, but it's too late. Donald Trump fucked it up. And I'm sorry, I had to say the F word, but it's true. His dream's been shattered. His Trump legacy has been shattered. His whole American dream has been shattered. He was doing this political issues or political beliefs since over 40 years ago. Talk about he's a Christian or um, or he is uh, a price uh, Presbyterian, also known as a Christian. And all the evangelists trying to believe in him, he's a Christian and all kinds of stuff, blah, 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 trying to do the news all news. There's only one channel will really get on my nerves, and that news is the uh, and this channel I'm talking about is called the Victory Channel. Now, I really don't like Victory Channel, okay? And it's been owned by the Kenneth Copeland Ministries. Now, the Kenneth Copeland Ministries called DirecTV, they got a contract, and now they put it on the air for at least, uh, which is uh, it's just a year ago. And everything hit the rock bottom. They 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 cover of uh the protests of the the American March rally, and also and also and also last week they airing on uh on a on a Save American rally. They been aired for two hours, and also they air on YouTube. And all the Christians believe in him that he was going to Capitol for all the Trump supporters. And everything went perfect, right? Wrong. Everything will be turned disaster. Now, the Victory Channel become one of the worstest adventurous channel in television history. They want to support Trump. They knew something's gonna happen. People think they're gonna do some positive or even negative, but guess what? They are lying. During the next day, uh, uh, there's two guys say, how's your day, blah, 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 nothing happened. But in their minds and their hearts, they knew that Donald Trump is about to go. They face on an alternate reality. I'm talking about Trump. I'm talking about the administrations. I'm talking about uh, the evangelists. They knew what's really going on. And they messed up big time. And they're not working for God. They, they working for this. They do it for business. That is it. That is it, big time. You knew it was coming. You knew it was coming. They, they, there's no word to be ascribed. They they predict that Trump is going to win on the second term election. No. We're not predictors here. Jesus Christ is the predictor. He changes everything. But this 2021 will be changing around. Now, 
What will happen next? Nancy Pelosi already signed for the second impeachment for Donald Trump, and now they're going to give it to the Senate, just one week away until the inauguration day for Joseph Biden and Kamala Harris. Do you think the Senate will do the trial or just leave it to the slide? And it will definitely take a week or days. Just what happened since um, last year on the impeachment, it will take like two months. But I don't know what happened on this trial. They're supposed to do quickly, but the trial might be different. But we'll see how it goes. This is your story, Mr. Steven saying, Do para la familia. And before I go, um, I just want to say to, um, the Apostles Brooklyn. Now, last Friday, um, I just read a statement on Facebook. And it was completely powerful about what they did. They stood up to their own rights. And I couldn't even see them in personally, but I just wanted to congratulate them to stand up to their own right. And when I read that paragraph, that really makes me so proud that they blame President Trump for his wrongdoings. How about a round of applause? That's it. This church needs to step it up. This nation needs to step it up. And this America needs to step it up. And all 10 Republicans who vote for the impeachment for President Trump. Like I said since last week, Democrats and Republicans need to work together as a team. And they did. We'll see how it goes. See you next time. Hey everyone, Mr. Steven here. Thank you so much for watching my new episode of The Steven Factor. If you want to learn more about my video, especially my channel, hit the subscribe button. All right? It's right here on your screen. And also, click on the notification bell to, to check out my newest latest videos. See you there.